Hi everyone, it's Jill with Greenwood Girl Cards and I'm back to share a few more Christmas tags. Um, if you remember, Susan Laverty just give, gifted me some gifts along with Ida who's created to create. Um, Susan Laverty doesn't have a YouTube channel, but Susan and Ida have recently both just sent me happy mail. And um, I'm working on something that Ida gave me that I'm hoping to share later this weekend or early next week. But um, I did make two quick tags using the papers, uh, these Holly Jolly papers from Simple Stories that um, Susan sent to me. I just really liked this paper and I wanted to play with it. Um, so I took just a, a scallop tag base and I cut out a tag and I backed it with watercolor cardstock. And um, so I cut it out twice and I added this little, um, coffee cup to make a hot cocoa and let me go through really quick and show you um, the products that I used uh, that I'm going to be using today for this video okay so that hot cocoa cinnamon is from the friendship jar holiday fillers and for those of you that are new to stamping this is one of my favorite stamp sets um, it's called friendship jar holiday fillers and there's a whole series of these for different holidays but this is the one um, that I use the most uh, for Christmas time. And I use this hot cocoa cinnamon, which I just love. And you can actually make hot cocoa cups with this set. Um, it has marshmallows, it has a handle for a mason jar that is included in their original mason jar set. And, um, you know, just lots of different things, sugar cookies, and it has this picture of sugar cookies. So it's a really neat set, and um, I, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I use it every year <laughs> on the Christmas holidays. So that's where that hot cocoa sentiment that's on the tags comes from. And then I showed you the papers, and I'm, I'm going to be showing you some tags that use um, this Princess Face Assortment from Peachy Keen. They use this beautiful frame die from Pink Fresh, which I also showed you in my last video of the gingerbread tags. So this frame, when you cut it out, it looks like this, and I showed you this, um, these gingerbread tags in my last video. Okay, so I use that frame die again. I use this um, IO dies uh, coffee and cocoa set. And this is an Anna White die. Hi, Anna. I used, again, her frosting, um, frosted cookies die. I used that one again. Here's the tag die that I used. And here's um, this Peachy Keen uh, Spa Girl set, PK1913. And then I also used this Peachy Keen set, PK3C-33, for these little um, face stamps. And then this, again, is that Elizabeth Crafts um, teacup set that I used. Okay, and then the last thing I'll show you really quick are those Mama Elephant tags. So those are all the products that I used, and I also used um, this set of papers from a Rolla Miha shop called The Beautiful Papers, and I used this pink polka dot, which is from the Rosal backgrounds, so this one. This is what the sheet looks like. And I used, again, that uh, Rudolph Backgrounds paper right here, okay? And while I was at her shop, I also picked up um, a few more papers that I wanted since she gave us the code Jill20 to use for this month. And this is one of the ones that I picked up. And this one is called, um, what is it called? Vintage Finds Papers. Okay, so it has um, these little tags. This is the main reason I wanted it is I love these little uh, 10 cents, 5 cents, 50 cents. I thought those would be really fun to incorporate. And then it also comes with these um, larger sizes that you can use for like journal pages. So it, this one has, um, I just love the rusticness of these. So this, this file comes with both together. So I picked up that one because I wanted it and I think I spent like six or seven dollars in her shop. Um, I also picked up this one, and this is a set of, it's called Red Rose Number no. 2 Collage, and it includes this green and yellow um, florals that have polka dots, and then these ones, ha this one has a larger cream polka dot in the background, 
See the little cream polka dots in there? And then this one doesn't have polka dots at all and it's kind of rustic. Okay, so there's those. And then I also picked up one called the Romantic Backgrounds. And this one is a really fun one if you want to just do a quick card and you need a focal point to add to a background, you can use these backgrounds and it makes for really quick um, cards. And I loved this piece too with the writing on it. I think that would be so pretty for a background. So again, this one's called the Romantic Backgrounds. And then I got this one because I just love the papers. Um, and this one is Petite Flowers Collage. So it has a pink rose, and I'll bring you in close. It has polka dots in the background. Then it has kind of a, a light, very creamy colored one, and then this blue color, and then another one of the cream colored. So I this one's really pretty. I love the um, kind of the tea dye color of it. And then in my projects, I'm gonna show, oh, I already showed you these ones, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so, um, Anyway, use the code Jill20 if you want to visit her shop. All right, that's all the products that I use to create what I'm going to show you. Um, let me set these aside, sorry. Okay, so anyway, I did these two, which I just thought turned out so cute. Um, you know me, I love anything with hot cocoa at Christmas time. And then really quick, I was going to show you these two. I made a couple more of these. This is by far probably everyone's favorite tag so far this year. At least it has the most likes on Instagram. Um, and I just added some hot cocoa tags to these ones this time. So I used a different sentiment than what I did last time. I think the other one said stay cozy or something. But um, I used the hot cocoa one on this. And my, my, <laughs> my marker is out of ink. And so I need to add more ink to it before I finish coloring this one. You can see it's not colored all the way. And that's just because I need to re-ink my Copic. But this is still probably, um, probably the most popular tag this year for this Christmas. Okay, so next, um, using that... IO Stamps coffee mug die set that I just showed. I took the mug, I added the tea saucer from the Elizabeth Crafts Designs um, teacup set. And I added the spoon from the mug set. So this, this all comes together in the one set. I added the frosted cookie, and this time I used the tree. And I just colored, the, colored it with a Copic marker and added some little stickles dots on there. And I used that uh, gingerbread sentiment set from Irala Miha's shop. And this is her paper, this pretty red check in the background. This little holly is a, a die from Paper Tray Ink that I, I die cut with felt. And then I just added a pearl to it. Okay. And you can see the faux stitching on the whipped cream. Anna does beautiful faux stitching on all of her dies. And then uh, again, I traced around the, the, the die itself to create the backer piece for this tag. But this is that beautiful Pink Fresh Studio frame tag. And I just love how this came out. Um, I just think it's soft and pretty. So that's one of them. And then I decided that I really needed to do, um, I wanted to make a tag for my parents. And so I thought this was a really cute idea to actually, because it comes with the mugs that face both directions, I decided to make a boy and girl mug. <laughs> and then I did three cookies on this one. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I used Distress Glitter on the whipped cream. And uh, Tim Holtz, the Distress uh, Clear Glitter is one of my favorites. I think, is that what it's called? I should have brought the bottle down, but it's upstairs. Um, but it is the Distress Glitter, and I just love this. So yeah, that's what's causing all that sparkle right there. And I just left the, mush, the, uh, the marshmallows plain um, and just inked the edges of them. But that's the, the, distress, the Distress Glitter is really pretty. And then I also put Distress Glitter on here, and then I dotted the diamond stickles on top of the Distress Glitter. So these really do sparkle nicely. Um, and then again, I use that same hot cocoa sentiment. So 
I thought this turned out really sweet and I used Anna's um, idea of using the button so that I didn't have to poke a hole in the beautiful frame. So there's that one. And then I did make a couple others. This, these were the first ones that I made when I started creating um, with this set and I, I did uh, them in the same uh, chipboard, the thin, thin chipboard. I don't know what the millimeter is on this, but um, I used that thin chipboard again to do the uh, mugs of cocoa. So that is what this is. And another little couple, this one just has two cookies. And uh, these papers are a file that I don't think is available. I checked this morning and it's not on Irala Miha Shop's page as far as I can tell. It might be there and I just missed it, but um, these papers may not be available, but any, you know, you can use any papers. So um, any papers that you love the coloring of. So I just did that one and then this one that's green and red. So those are all the tags that I wanted to share um, today. And uh, I want to thank you guys for watching my channel. And I hope you all have a lovely weekend. Okay, bye now.